Okay, so let's start with the dead element check for this probe, which is 5L64. The first thing I want to do is create a new setup. So I start afresh. Then I go to menu screen and click on UT settings. I want to change my range. So I go to general and click on range. I want to keep my range to twice the thickness that I'm going to calibrate off of. So in this case, it's 1.25 inch. So I'm going to keep my range about 2.5, 2.6 inches. Then next I go to receiver. And since my probe is a 5 megahertz, 5L64, I'm going to select a filter for bandpass 5 megahertz. Also, remember the video filter has to be switched off. That's all you need to change in UT settings. So click on wizard and directly go to setup. Remember this is a dead element check so we're not really concerned about any part geometry. Phase ray, application other, click next. Probe is auto selected and wedge we don't have any so it stays on contact. Click next. Law configuration for dead element check would be preferably linear sector and the wave type just leave it on longitudinal wave. Element quantity, very important. Element quantity for dead element check has to be one. Click next. My first element would be the first one, that's one. Last element would be the last one that's available in the probe. In this case, it's 64. Element step should always be one. Angle, I would preferably leave it on zero. Click next. Focus depth. I'm trying to get a signal off of one and a quarter inch deep. So I'm going to leave my focus depth at one and a quarter inch deep. Just because I want to focus on this calibration block. That's it. Click generate. The next thing I'm going to do is put some coupling on my calibration block and try to get a back wall from this calibration block. So since my range is set up to, to receive two back walls, I'm going to pump my gain up so that I can see my first back wall to about 100% screen height. Once I do that, then I'm going to go to VPA. Click on VPA and on the left hand side top on your screen you see VPA is 1 which means I'm firing my first element in the probe, the first crystal. And the A scan signal that you see is the signal that's received from the first element of the probe. As I scroll to VPA2, now the A scan signal that you see on the screen is from the second element in your crystal. And so on and so forth. As I scroll through my VPAs, it is scrolling through each and every element at a time and giving you the corresponding A scan signal for that particular element. So I'm going to watch my A scan signal to drop down. If it drops down, then I have a dead element. If it doesn't, if it stays in the range of somewhere around 90 to 100%, then it's a good element. Also on my S scan, I'm looking for any white bands or my missing red line. As you can see right now, I have a strong red line, which is the back wall signal. If that is missing, then again, I have a dead element check. So your best bet is to watch the A scan signal to drop down and scroll through each and every VPA all the way from 1 to 64 or whichever is the last element in your probe. That's all you need for dead element check. So all my 64 elements are good. My A scan didn't drop. That's all you need to do.